Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for January 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to this full technical analysis, where it basically is all the uh, commodities that are available on eToro. You're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You'll also get access to our signal service and also our online trades. So uh, the link is down below. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have appreciated quite significantly today. We have created this hammer here. Usually that is a very bullish shine. So I wouldn't be surprised if we went um, continued this bullishness all the way up towards the 20 exponential. And then we will just see a continuation of the fall of the US dollar. So the 20 exponential has been major uh, resistant in the past here, here and also here. So a move towards the 20 exponential is very likely that we'll see uh, a continuation of depreciation of the US dollar index. If you look at technical indicators, they are still uh, fairly bearish at this point. The MACD is trending underneath the uh, zero, but it has crossed the signal line. So short time bullish. Uh, the stochastic is also uh, so also a short time bullish at this point. Um, and the CCI is under minus 100. So it is bearish at this current stage. But we are on the edge of being oversold. So this has been selling off for quite a long time. And uh, pullbacks like these are inevitable. They You just can't sell something forever without having a pullback. But this has had major implications for stocks, for 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 indices and uh, commodities and so on. So um, this tends to tre trend the opposite of other in instruments. So let's look at the oil market. So we'll look at oil. So we can see that we almost reached, uh, nearly reached $50 and then broke down quite significantly all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average. And this is current stage, we it is getting really interesting for, for oil. If the 20 exponential holds, then we are going back towards the 50. And this could be basically a very short um, belly, a very uh, minor range here between the 20 exponential and the uh, and the $50 range. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. So, so this is a very bearish shine. Uh, and this is also a very bearish candlestick. If we break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to this price level here, which is at 30, 35, and then the 50 moving average. So keep an eye on that. Move towards the 50 moving average, that should be significant support and also a very good buying opportunity. That is also the previous highs here. So it would make sense that we will fall all the way down to the 50, find major support here, and then we will be trading between 43 and $50, give or take. So let's look at natural gas. As you can see, it's just basically more of the same. Um, rallies, uh, massive pullbacks, rallies again up towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average, breakdowns, rallies towards the 20 exponential, breakdowns, rally up to the 20, and then yet again towards the 20. I would not be a buyer in this market until we basically break 50 moving average and start trading well above the 50 moving average. Otherwise, this is just a continuation of this uh, downward trend. And um, if we get basically stuck here for, well, one, two, three, four, probably five trading days, as we did here and also here and also here, then that basically means that we are just going to go and test the uh, 200 moving average again. And if that breaks, then that opens an absolute tidal wave to the downside. We're going all the way down towards uh, two, uh, and then we're also going to 1.7, 1.8. Technical indicators are still bullish for this, so, but at this current stage, I think that this is just going to be a continuation. I won't be a buyer until we basically cross the 50. So let's look at copper. 
So we rallied quite significantly today and gave most of those gains back. And now we're trading roughly at the 3.55. Uh, we're trading above the 20 exponential. That is uh, quite a significant support at this current stage. Um, I think that we are just going, we're going higher. As long as the 20 exponential holds, as this level price level here holds, which is roughly to uh, 3.5, uh, then we are going to go higher in this market. Uh, the lower the dollar gets, the higher the market will also go. So we have seen this move before. We can go all the way back here when we're trading sideways, creating this basically flag here, and then rallied, and, uh, and so on. This is just a continuation here, just going sideways and then going significantly higher. So how high? Well, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, that is where we are most likely going in the long run. So let's look at gold. Because gold did something really interesting today. We basically broke out of this resistant line. So so we have this resistance line here and the gold basically gapped up and now is trading well above that resistance line and it has no basically no signs of basically pullback and that's very bullish shine. Technical indicators are very bullish for gold but we are on the edge of being overbought at this current stage. We have been rallying since this very low here of uh, 1766. Uh, so a pullback towards well we can just get rid of this and we can add a new trend line here, which is the lows here and the lows there, which is currently our support line. So pullback towards the support line here should be, well, significant support. And we'll also have the 20 moving average moving this way. So we are you know, basically changing this trend. It is no longer a downward trend. It is most likely going to be upwards from here. So a pullback towards 1900, roughly 1900. That is where, that is basically the bottom of this market. However, there is significant resistant within this area here. So we can go put it a little bit down right there. We can see how often we tested this area. So that is roughly between 1930 to 1975, something like that. If we manage to get through this area, this is also the reason why we ended here. If you manage to get through this area here, then that opens the door to 2000 and 2015, 2100 and, and beyond that. So I think that gold is gonna be really, really bullish from now on. Um, long run, gold should be very bullish. People have been pumping money, in the, money into Bitcoin for whatever reason and instead of basically gold. And today we saw basically a reversal of that. People were basically selling Bitcoin and put, put pumping money basically into gold. So they're using it as a safe haven. And that is um, um, historically it been the normal trend that basically people use uh, gold when economy is looking very dire. But pullbacks towards 1900, that is basically your entry point for this market. Um, Expect a pullback uh, because we are very overstretched. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we are way outside here in the Bollinger Band. So a massive pullback towards at least 1900, that is fairly possible at this stage. So let's look at silver. So yet again, we have rallied, we found the resistance here, and this is also this area here that we basically need to get through, but we are going to get through it. So similar to gold, we have this trend line here, and a pullback towards this trend line is basically buying opportunities. We have this massive resistant area here that we basically need to get through. We are testing it now, and it's just a matter of time before we get through this area. A pullbacks towards this trend line, uh, roughly $26.59, uh, uh, that is basically your entry point, and then you basically can target uh, 27, 28, 29, and 13, uh, $30 as well. So let's look at platinum. So 
this just went parabolical today and I need to get uh, Bullinger Band to basically show you how parabolical we went. So we went all the way up to 11.27 before we broke down, but still we are, uh, well, we're just inside of the basically Bollinger Band here. But I think at this stage we are going uh, going lower. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around and a move towards the 20 exponential moving average, that would make sense. Um, this is just very parabolical. This makes, well, this is just a... Uh, untradeable so uh, moves like this are easier to trade than days like this for example but a move back towards the 20 exponential find support there then you basically can enter and target 1000 again so let's look at pallium so you can see and this was very predictive people can go and look at my video from for last uh, uh, my last technical analysis because we're still doing just more of the same we are rallying to these um, to um, to this resistant area and we can basically make it as a block now because it is basically a block and we have a low here which is there so we rallied up towards this area here which has been major resistant and then we broke down and trading just above the 20 exponential so it's just more of the same. Rally up towards this area is basically a selling opportunity and, and, and drop down towards this major support area. That is basically, sorry, um, that is basically your entry point for uh, buying opportunity. At this current stage, um, if we manage to break the 50 moving average, then it's probably a good idea to sell it, but otherwise, I only enter it when we are at the top and when we are basically at the bottom. So I hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want to get access to the full technical analysis of this video. So good luck and thank you very much.